Arizona, seasonal offerings aren't just limited to Mother Nature. We have four staples, which is our red, our IPA, our stout, and our raspberry ale. Um, and amongst those, we also throw in probably 25 to 30 different seasonals throughout the year. That's right, beer. And one of the best places to find your favorite is on Flagstaff's South Side. Flagstaff is becoming a beer mecca, so to speak, you know? Gary Blazevich is the head brewer at Beaver Street Brewery. I consider myself a beer geek. Definitely local favorite would be the Railhead Red. It's really a transitional beer. Um, you're going to get a little bit of malt flavor to it. It also has um, a little bit of a fruity ester to it from the yeast. Uh, it's a really easy drinking beer. Not too hoppy, not too malty, really medium along the line here. And every pour has a taste of the South Side. We definitely try to incorporate local names into our beers. You know, the Railhead Red, we're right next to the railroad tracks. I mean, 100 yards north of us. The trains go by 100 times a day. The IPA, we, uh, we used to call it the Hop Shot IPA, you know, as kind of a play on words for the hot shots and the fire people around here. And the Railroad Stout. At the Mother Road Brewing Company just around the corner, naming the beer is just part of the fun. The brewery gets its name from John Steinbeck's moniker for Route 66 in the Grapes of Wrath and a piece of the original stretch of road is in every glass. The Gold Road section is outside of Oatman, Arizona. It's that great winding serpentine stretch. It's magnificent if you ever get a chance to drive that. Uh, Twin Arrows, of course, from the old uh, trading post out at Twin Arrows. Uh, trading post is mostly gone, but the arrows are still there. And then our roadside, uh, our roadside was gonna be called Jackrabbit after Jackrabbit, Arizona, because I think it's one of the coolest stops ever. However, uh, there's a brewery up in Colorado that had that name, so we named it Roadside after the roadside attractions that populated Route 66. Michael has had some fun with job titles as well. Well, here's the deal. You start your own company, you get to make the job titles. So when my wife and I founded this brewery, we decided we were going to have some fun. We take the beer seriously, but we don't take ourselves very seriously. Michael calls himself the CBO, Chief Beer Officer. His head brewmaster, the yeast whisperer. This is where our yeast ferments the sweet work down into alcohol. And while this yeast whisperer may have his craft down to a science, he still has to run some thorough tests. The most important thing about beer is tasting it along the way, making sure that everything is happening the right way. And it certainly tastes like fall.